despite the stone, it sure does feel nice in here. Though, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm still a bit shivery. Not from the cold, though. I'm nervous. I mean, I'm really nervous. Inigo? You want to ask me something? What are your thoughts on all of this? What do you think I should do? I am thinking I am relieved we got to the bottom of my mind problem. Uh, okay, but my question still stands. I am thinking you are very kind. Thank you for giving me my own steed. I am grateful. <sighs> Third time's the charm. Please answer my question. I'm wondering if I could ever grow an impressive beard. <laughs> oh, Let's go. All right. Didn't calm down my nerves, but at least it gave me a good laugh. <laughs> well, I guess we better not keep them waiting. Hello, sirs. So, the Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Yes. You have summoned me here, and your summons I am answering. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Let's see if I can remember. Shout at us. Let us... Taste of your voice. that I learned it. Strike us with the power of your voice. The feeling within. Do not force! Your shout will not harm Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, Master, I am answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. And what is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I've made it all the way up here. So, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? laid out for you. Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, Indeed. you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. That I did. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now huh. teach you Roll, the second word in unrelenting force. Roll means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. <laughs> Learn 
learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn the shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. That I know. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Dirty after that. Okay. Was mostly focusing us to try to forget that while it felt just as good as absorbing a dragon soul, um, I now feel like I need a shower or a bathing underneath a waterfall after this. That that felt wrong. That projection of learning. But well. Let's see what other things you can teach me. Just please don't do that again. I guess I better have it ready. Thanks, Inigo. Wow. I was moving like the wind. I could almost fly. 
Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. In all honesty, I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. Okay, but but before I go, why are the dragons returning? What does that have to do with me? No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on owning your voice. Soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. What does it mean to be <coughs> dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later. When you are ready. That explains why I have the blood of divines within me. That's going to be a stupid question. Uh, I can already get why there are only four of them. But who was Jürgen Windcall? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kimmeri at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Well... I can only promise to try to follow the way of the voice, but in the end the decision is up to me, how I use my voice, for good or for ill. That is commendable, but remember the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh, do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Thank you. Wind, guide you. Well, good.
guys. I guess we better step outside and make a camp. It's gonna be too long of a climb down and I'm gonna be bloody tired by the time we get to the inn. But from there, we shall make our way to wherever Ustengrav is. Even if we have to take a carriage. Though, I guess I better try and go there by our horse. will be cheaper and, let's face it, Birna needs further training. Oh. Thanks to the rain, it's just as cold down here as it is up in the mountain. And honestly, as cold as it was last night, it reminds me I need to have a fur tent from here on out whenever I sleep in a cold climate. It is quite beautiful. Quite snow. Comfortable. Unlike in Jogger Crates, where the cold makes you feel like you're dying on the inside. Well, I honestly couldn't help but to have the feeling that up there, I was being watched. Well, never mind. Let's take a look at the map. How far away do we have to go to get to Ustengrav? Let's see, we are here. This is Iverstead. Um... Morthal. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh man. Uh, that is a ways. Uh, okay. What would be the quickest path? And what would be the safest? Well. Okay, so... In my opinion, the safest path would be the path well treaded by us, which is past Iverstead, past the Alchemist Shack, around the back towards Helgen, through Riverwood, and either taking the carriage at, at the White Run Stables or just riding past the Western Watchtower, and then going along this trail here through the mountains. I guess I will make up my mind or toss a coin when we when we reach the White Run stables. So with that in mind, let's get this show on the road. Oh, those guys don't look good. Um, Inigo, could you please get off your horse? Inigo, off the horse. Thank you. <clears throat> yes? Yes. I am Dragonborn. How may we be of service? Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. 
When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. Mirak. None shall stand to oppose him. Oh, that's uh, I'm getting at the back. Okay. Come to summon the doggy. See, fire doesn't work on the notches. Nope. Nope. Uh. Okay. Okay. These guys are really bad, and I mean really, really bad. Assassins of a different type, that's for sure. Let us see what they have. These rather interesting clothings. Huh, these robes seem to be a bit better than what I have. Screw it, I'm wearing them. This carp, spider egg, steel dagger, orders to a cultist. Board the vessel, Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Mandy Hartfelt before she reaches Solstein. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Solstein. The island that hardly anybody ever wants to go to these days. Solstein. Really, that's where they come from. As tempted as I am to now go and try and face this Mira. Whoever he may be, whatever he may be, I think we have more urgent matters at Paul. So, without further ado, I would say we get on our horses and be on our way. And hope that we don't come across any more of them on the road. All right, we made it. We made it to the White Run Stables, though with an incident out of the way. Thalmor are attacking us. Ah! No! 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 Bloody thunder mages! <laughs> Good one, Inigo! Wait, what? What do you mean you're going to miss this, Inigo? Yeah. Well... First off... Let's toss a coin about this. Ah, there it is. Heads, we take this carriage. Tails, we ride. And it is... What is it? 
that heads or tails? Can't tell. Let's toss it again, this time in something a bit more dim. Heads, carriage. Tails, riding. Okay. One last time. That looks like tails. Yep, that's tails. Well, Inigo, looks like we're riding. Uh, you didn't have to dismount. So, let's get on going. Who knows? We might come into some extra distractions along the way. Not like the Thalmor. Why were they coming after me, though? That's what I really want to know. I mean... I wasn't disrupting any operations of theirs. Was I? Did they even have a note on them? Double checking. No, they didn't. All right. On the road again. I can't believe we're on the road again. On to places that we might never see again. I can't believe we're on the road again. <coughs> yeah. Out of character? Yeah, that's proof that I haven't been practicing in a long, long time. Back into character. At least we're gonna be seeing some vistas. I take those mountains through as a shortcut. Yeah, actually that looks like a pretty nice shortcut. So, let's do that instead. Hmm? Pillar of or Whisper. I feel like that's another shout, but I don't know it. Well, let's make our fast way through. I'd like to get to the Morthal Inn as soon as possible. And have a chat with Inigo. He seems to be depressed about something. Huh? What is this place here? These are some huge ruins! Uh, correction, these are massive ruins, and that is a troll. Correction, that is a frost troll. Okay. Well, at least we've got the distraction going. Oh, feeling a little bit too tired for this. Go, Lydia, go! 
Good thing the Axe of Whiteburn has a fire enchantment. Though now I got the feeling that there are more trolls in here. So, let's summon up a friend. Let's have the teleport a friend at the ready. Why? By Mara, this is massive. Oh yeah, there we go. That's an I knew it. I bloody well knew it. Uh, Inigo? It's down there. What the? Go after them, Inigo! Okay. Which of you needs healing? Oh, a lot of you are major than me feeling. Oh no, Miko. Here. Loads of healing, everyone. Take all the healing. Okay. My attention is getting split now. Try to help you as best as I can. Uh, wow. Is one of them. Never mind, no longer stun locked. Uh, guys, this hole's not dead. Inigo, that troll isn't dead. Go after it. There we go. Now we can go after the last one. Uh, okay, there's more? Yep, indeed, there's more. Uh, didn't run off. We killed it. Oh, that one was... Is this where the bog of eternal stench is, or am I thinking of somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> no, Inigo, you're not thinking of somewhere else. This place had so many trolls, you could easily call it the Bog of Stench. Let's call our horses. And continue on our way. It's way too cold here. Mount up, and you go. There we go. I wonder what this place is called. What did my father's map call? Labyr Labyrinthian. That place. Oh, if only I had the book on it still. But I don't, sadly. Oof, gotta be careful there. That could be a nasty fall for Birna. A horse with a broken leg is a horse who will not who will not live long. Actually cold. Just like on the way to Dawnstar.
Well, I'm gonna take another shortcut. The marshland isn't too far away, and honestly, I would like to avoid as much cold as possible. What is that? Is that some sort of ruin? Didn't expect to find this out here. It's a well hidden place. Uh though it looks like somebody was living here before. A guy by the name of Hans? Simgar's tower notes. Deep in the swamp of Hjalmarch, where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of no of unknown provenance. Few in the province dare speak the name Mirwatch, as those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further. And so I have made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of it past of its past comes from its present. From of from the cut of the stone to the wards that surround it, every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen and hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus. A symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages here were cast out from the College and set out to carve their own path? This is but a theory, and yet one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind of its occupants, true insight will, will remain frustratingly out of grasp. So this is... this place is vacant. And it's a mage's tower. I wonder if we could take it for our own. But how? Hans's journal. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that fool Sindnar say it over and over, breath stinking of ale as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell. But so long as no one's hair caught on fire or found imps in their cupboards, the words were harmless. Just the mad ramblings of a drunk. Of the in-patrons, uh, only I bothered to humor him. We bonded over a bottle of hunting brew and the bucket with which we had history. So when the elf bit the dust, it was only natural he left his things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long dead language. <laughs> but as soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value, a map and a note to a tower deep in the swamps. It was only after reading it that I realized his drunken words weren't part of a, a limerick, 
there were instructions, a way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense, but the eye is the stone seal, that much I'm sure. Yet nothing I do seems to work. I doused it in the fire from my torch. I've chopped kindling for hours and built a bonfire high, high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still nothing. Maybe the steel can only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the blasted tome. I just need to make sense of the words. But I better be quick. The fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. Hopefully I can manage to survive long enough to, dis to discover whatever treasure lies within. Hmm. Dousing it in fire, you say? Well, this might work. Huh. Not a hair. A hare! A rabbit! Ah, those idiots. Well, I guess no need for an inn at all. I think we have ourselves a new home. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Hopefully food and a bed. It's lacking in anything that could be seen as, um, as privacy, but we got a bed! We have an oven! A place to eat! And what might this be? Inigo, smack me. I think I'm dreaming. I think I died and made my way straight into Mara's arms. An enchanting table. An alchemy set. Though I know nothing of alchemy, I might actually want to learn now. And... What is this? A staff enchanter! Well, what? Okay, these are unenchanted staves. Illusion and destruction. Um. <coughs> Oops. Uh, let's see. What all do I need to enchant these staves? Heartstone. A queen, relax Heartstone. In so, these things here? Oh, oops. I didn't mean to take the bowl. Oh, huh. okay. Let's see what I like. Ooh. A staff of fire bolts. That could be useful for Lydia or Inigo. Yes, let's create this. Oh my god. I've learned the dragon has been in a lot. Your livestock are dead and your home is gone. It's not a joke, dragon. And now the staff of fury.
You know what, Inigo? Let's sleep on this. This is all too much. Uh, but first... Something on your mind? Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Do you want to relax here for a bit? Yes, thank you. I will try to be a good guest. I think I'll see you tomorrow, Inigo. Oh, that was nice. This is nothing like my home in solitude, but... We should rest while we can. We have to keep our strength up. Oh, we are. But it has everything. It even has a tiny forge. I mean... What house has that in inside, hmm? in her castle. Mm-hmm. You still have that depressed look, Inigo. You know what? Mr. Dragonfly is glad to have us as his friends. We feel the same way, Mr. Dragonfly. Yep, we do. However, Inigo, let's get whatever is on your mind out of the way. What is on your mind? Are you ready to talk about who you think I am? Yes, I am ready. Say what you must. I am not the person that you shot, Inigo. I'm certain that it was my mother that you shot. I know. When you first denied our past in my cell, I did not believe you. Now I know better. I am sorry. I have misled you. And myself. Our time together began with a lie. I am glad it is ending with the truth. Ending? I no, will Inigo. You no longer. For what it is worth. Thank you. We had some fun times, you and I. Goodbye. Uh, no. Inigo, we need to talk about this. Please, don't leave us. There is nothing to talk about. Langley was right. I am crazy. My mind is broken. You've been through a lot. Don't be so hard on yourself, Inigo. I have been living a lie. And worse, I have drawn you into it also. I am not worthy of your time. Inigo, my friend, come on. We are a team, you and I. What did you call me? My friend, that is what you have become, like it or not. Do you really mean it? I will not hold it against you, if you do not. Of course I mean it, Inigo. The spell wouldn't work otherwise. Thank you. That means more than you know. I honestly thought we had a past together. But as time went by, I did begin to doubt myself. You are so similar to the person I once knew. You even smell the same, in a good way. I think deep down I knew my old friend was dead. When I heard about you, wishful thinking became hope. Then hope became need. I needed to believe forgiveness was possible. And if not forgiveness, redemption in death. I deceived myself. It was selfish of me. It's understandable, Inigo. I mean... Like I said, you might have shot my birth mother. That's probably why we smell so similar. But... No more deception from now on, though. Can we agree on that? 
Yes, agreed. Thank you, my friend. I still have much to live for because of you. I am still in your debt. You gave me a reason to go on. You made me face my past, and now you are helping me come to terms with what I have done. I will follow you to oblivion and back if need be. I did not mean to lie to you, or myself. I am ashamed. I hope in time, I will be able to earn your forgiveness. In the end, I hope our friendship and future adventures will prove more important than how we met. We are a fantastic team, you and I. We are. And Inigo, for all that it is worth, I forgive you. And I hope that you can find the forgiveness within yourself. You are very kind. It is a beautiful gesture. But my debt to you stands. I have not come near to earning your forgiveness yet. Surely I'm the best judge of that. Your words bring me joy, but I do not deserve them. I am happy you do not hold my confusion about our past against me, but I cannot say the same. Also, the person I thought you were is dead because of me. Yet another casualty of my former life. I will know when I am ready to move on, but for now, the guilt I bear still weighs down my heart. Maybe that guilt will be there for the rest of my life. I have a feeling that I am the only one who can let it go. Let it go, Inigo, my friend. You calling me friend means the world to me. I am honored. You have given me a reason to go on. A whole new life. A chance at happiness. If all goes well, maybe one day I will be at peace with who I am. If that happens, it will be because of you also. You cannot remove my guilt, but you have given me hope. I must do the rest. I completely understand, Inigo. I know where you're coming from. And that I understand. You are more understanding than most, my friend. Your words lighten my soul. But as far as my heart is concerned, I still have much to repay. I hope that your heart will recognize redemption when you find it. Uh, or rather, in all honesty, Inigo, you're on the right road. Maybe you are right. Since we started traveling together, I have felt a shift in the balance of my life. You know, we have had a few adventures, my friend. But I will never forget one particular fight. We surprised a group of filthy bandits in their smelly camp. They all stank of drink, body odor, and ugly thoughts. I had been in my cell for quite a while, and it was more excitement than I was used to. As we fought side by side, I became aware that a new positive force was at work in my life. Despite the unsavory nature of our foes, and the sour smell of their pea-stained clothes, I knew that I would always remember that moment fondly. We were magnificent together. When the battle was done and we stood victorious, I knew I was walking a better path. Thank you for helping me unlock my potential, and for giving my heart and soul a second chance. You're welcome, Inigo. After all, that is what friends are for. Life is hard and often short. If you ever get the chance to relax, take it. Mm -hmm. However, I have another reason for not wanting you to leave. We still have to get that I bloody wish my horn. I could have met you. You would have liked each other. 
I bet you need go. Oh well. I would say that we rest up for as long as we can as to prepare for Ustengrav. 